Application Manager at Duravent, and today we're going to go over the installation of a variable length. The purpose of a variable length is to fill odd gaps. A variable length will fill a gap from 7 inches to 28 and a half inches. Before we get into installation, let's look at the components that make up a variable length. First, our inner wall sleeve, our single flange retaining band, double flange sleeve, inner wall locking band, standard V-band, for double wall applications, two half outer wall casings with hardware, and for insulated product, a strip of insulation will also come with the assembly. A variable length can be field trimmed as needed. When you field trim a variable length, Measure your desired length on the inner sleeve plus four inches. For the outer wall and insulation strip, it will be your desired length plus six inches. To begin installation, start with the single flange retaining band and double flange sleeve on the inner wall sleeve. Next, we're going to assemble a standard pipe connection with standard V-band. Now apply a one inch thin strip of sealant to the inner wall sleeve. Connect the inner wall to your adjoining pipe section. Slide the flanges together and connect with a standard V-band for a standard joint connection. Now we'll apply sealant to the double flange base and also seal it to the retaining band. Then we'll slide the retaining band down, tighten the bolt on the retaining band, then place the interlocking V-band between the retaining band and double flange for the standard joint connection. With the band sealed and tightened, now for double wall product, we'll install the outer wall with the outer wall hardware. Note if you had an insulated product, we would wrap the insulation around at this point. With the outer wall assembled, now you have a completely assembled variable length. 